Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about unions inside structure. Okay, so we all know unions and structures are used to store different types of data in a memory, a continuous memory location. But the difference between structures and unions is structures allocates the memory continuously for each and every variable. Okay, but union select the variable which has the highest memory size and allocates the memory for that and all other variables are replaced as the previous one. So, in this way, union saves the memory. Okay. So, we all know the field of union will share memory. So, in a main program, we ask the user which data he would like to store and depending on the user choice, the appropriate field will be used. Okay. First, suppose in a union, the name and salary and employee ID are stored. Okay. So, in a structure, all the name, salary, ID will be stored in a continuous memory location. Okay. But in unions, the name is replaced with salary and salary is replaced with ID. Okay. So, the memory will be shared. Okay. So, depending upon the user choice. So, if the user want to display only name, only this appropriate field will be used. Or, if the user wants to display salary, only this appropriate field will be used. Okay. So, by this way, we can use the memory efficiently okay so here the topic is unions inside structures so let's see the example program so here hash include stdio.h is header file next struct student what is this it is a structure so inside structure we are declaring union so here Union does not contain, didn't have any name. So, that type of unions are known as anonymous unions, unnamed unions. Okay. Next one is care name. So, it is a union variable and next one is int roll number. It is also one union variable. So, the size of character is 10 and int has only 4 bytes of memory. So, 4 bytes of memory is allocated. Okay. Next, int marks. So, what is this? It is a structure variable. Okay. So, int marks is a structure variable. It will be stored in a another memory location. Next, main function. Struct student stud so it is it is the way to declare structure variable for student so struct is a keyword student is the structure name std stud is the structure variable name so what is the use of structure variable name by using this structure variable name you can use all the members of structures okay so, here I am taking one more variable that is choice. It is a character. Okay, character data type. Character data type is used to store only a single character. Okay. Next, printf. So, I am printing one message that is you can enter your name or roll number. Okay. You can enter either name or roll number. Next, I am displaying do you want to enter the name? Okay, so do you want to enter the name and next input scanf is used to input the data from the user. So, you, whether the user wants to enter the name or not, okay, you need to receive the data from the user. So, that's why I am using here scanf percentage C and percent choice, okay. If the choice is S. If the choice is S or choice is S, then you user can enter the name. The name will be stored at 
stud dot name so in this memory location the name will be stored okay next printf percentage uh, name student dot name so the name will be displayed okay else so do you want to enter the name if the user says yes if the user uh, given the input yes then these messages will be displayed these statements are executed if the user enter no that is n then this set of instructions will be executed enter roll number the roll number will be stored at this place and next we are displaying the roll number next close okay next one is enter marks so here marks are stored in stud dot marks for example 95 so if you observed so here the union is declared inside the structure why we are declaring inside the structure union has one benefit to save the memory so here user can enter the real name or roll number okay suppose if you want uh, user want to enter only name that particular memory is used so suppose user wants to enter roll number that particular memory is used for only roll number so here this concept is used to access the memory efficiently so at a time only name or roll numbers are stored okay so in this situations are uh, unions inside structures are used okay you can directly use the structure variables without without saving the memory because structure allocates memory for every individual variable okay so let's see the output so here you can enter name or roll number next i am asking the user do you want to enter the name if the user given yes that is y enter name name john next marks are 45 so the marks will be displayed for roll number and name because they are marks are structure variable okay if this suppose the user given the input that is no n enter the roll number roll number is some for example 101 next enter the marks 45 are the marks okay so here unions are used to enter either name or roll number to save the memory okay so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section okay so if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you